Hi, it's Kirstein. I'm making a video showing how to apply glitter tattoos on dogs. First of all, I want to talk about some of the supplies that we use. Um, this is the glue I use. Um, it's a scrapbook and glue by Scotch brand and it's two-way applicator glue, but I use this end, which is the soft, the soft foamy part. Um, I use <clears throat> Glitter by Davis because it's a really fine um, glitter. You can't use glitter that's bigger um, in size because it won't stick very well. Um, and I get all my supplies set out beforehand because you need to work fast once you've applied the glue. Um, sometimes I use a round dome brush, you see that, um, to help apply the glitter. And then I use the stick-on type uh, stencils. Um, you want it sticky because when you put it on the ear or wherever you put it, you want it to stick so that the glue doesn't use underneath it. Um, I use, this is a brand by Creative Arts, I think, or Body Art, something or other. But anyways, you can get them. Um, the more detailed the stencil, um, doesn't show up very well on the ears. Um, I prepare the ears beforehand or the body. You want the shortest hair possible. Um, so he, I always keep his ears short. This is my lovely assistant Pippin. Um, I keep his ears short so his ears are perfect. You can put them on the body as well. Um, of course he has way too much hair to do it. Um, but anything, the shorter the hair, the better it's gonna show up, the better it's gonna stay. Um, these, with this glue, it lasts about a week. Um, and washes off with soap and water. It looks really good for a week and then it kind of starts getting rough on there on the edges. Um, like I said, you need to, once you apply the glue, you want to start working fast. So that's why I've got everything set out. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up pretty soon, so we thought it would be appropriate to put a skull and crossbones on Pippin. And I am going to also apply Swarovski crystals for the eyes. Um, so I've got some little Swarovski crystals that I got from a craft store. And I have glue that's from Bow Wow Bling. It's actually a glue that's made specifically for gluing crystals on dog's ears. It's latex free and it's supposed to be non-toxic. And then sometimes I use hemostats to help put the uh, Swarovski crystals in place. So first thing first, the ear should be clean, um, should be hair free as possible. You want this to, let's see if we can get, you want this to stick as much as possible. So with this brand, you peel off the back um, and you've got the stencil, but then you've also got this plastic coating. So I'm going to place that. Let me see, Pip. So I'm going to place that on the ear. And I'm, I want it to stick as, and I want that, and I like the ear because it, it stays, you can make the ear flat because you don't want this stencil to peel up um, in any place. So then you peel off this part which leaves all the stencil and I again press it flat so it sticks really good. Um, this is not sticking really good, but it still will work. Um, so keep it short as, uh, as flat as possible. Um, I've got my glue and I just kind of dab some glue all over it. Um, with this glue, you do not want a lot of this glue um, in place because it will just gum up. You also don't want too little because then it won't stick. So after putting it kind of all over, I then go over with my finger and I'm kind of pressing the glue into the stencil and into the hair. And I don't, and I'm also removing any kind of thick globbiness. I don't want to take long to do this because the longer I take, the more it's going to dry. Um, with this one, I'm actually going to just pour it on here. This wastes a lot of glitter, but so sometimes I use the brush, sometimes I just pour it on if I don't care. So once it's on, I kind of want to press it into the glue. So I'm just kind of gently pressing this in. This doesn't dry right away. And you notice that I left the stencil on there. I hope that you could see that all that I wasn't. Oh, no, you couldn't see. But anyways, I left the outline of the stencil. Um, and then once you peel off that outline, once you peel off the stencil, you've got a pretty good outline. Um, I got some of the glue down here, so it's kind of it. Okay. And then, and it doesn't always 
if it oozes under that stencil at all, it's going to blur your outline. But you can see it's a, you can see it's a skull, skull and crossbones. Um, then we're going to do the Swarovski crystals. And to help me apply these, because this other type of glue is a different type of glue. It lasts six weeks, and it really does last six weeks. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to put a little dab on the back of this. Um, my fingers are too fat and stubby. So once I've got the dab of glue on the back, I'm putting it right on there. And I'm going to hold the ear for about 45 seconds because I don't want to shake his head. He's really used, he gets uh, glitter tattoos quite frequently. So this is, he's quite used to this whole process. So, um, so then I want my other eyeball. Da -da -da -da. So now I put it in the hemostat to hold this so I can apply it. Put just a dab of glue. Um, and then I place it and I'm just going to place it in there so you can see he's got a skull and crossbones and with the Swarovski crystal eyes. Um, this, the crystals will actually last longer than the glitter tattoo. Um, and in fact, a lot of times I actually have to shave off this crystal. Um, you can use something mineral oil to remove this glue. So this is from Bow Wow Bling, the Scotch scrap picking glue. Um, and that jumped, I don't know why. So there you go, all done.